uh, Rixu game. I'm, I'm super curious what will happen now, and I think this is going to be one of the highlights of this Champions Cup already. Must be exciting for the um, referees too. I don't want to be a referee in this um, game. Here we go, the game starts. Rixu is uh, already in ball possession. We're in the middle of the pool. Ball popped out of the uh, frenzy in the middle and Orcas have the ball in the middle, but uh, they are under heavy attack um, in the middle, up to the surface. We have a cluster on the surface. Both teams are ready to play physical. Both teams are ready to play fast and they don't want to give a centimeter. We have uh, Samuel was on the, on the surface and it's a call from the referee and this uh, referee on the surface, can we have a view on the surface, please? Can we? Danke sehr. Vielen Dank. Um, ich habe das da hier nicht gesehen. The, ah, it's a, a referee ball. So uh, he threw the ball in the water, and Rixu is, uh, Rixu is in uh, wow. ball possession. And we are on the way to the uh, Colombian basket, uh, and the Rixu players on a heavy attack. Very nice pass. Uh, over the arms of the Orca player, but this is instantaneous uh, for checking. We see here the ball is, is not free and a second. Can we to yeah. dim the sound okay. a little bit Sorry. from the, uh, the... The ball is uh, under uh, pressure within seconds after it is free and now we have Rixu building up uh, their attack and these are two titans in the water. A ver, tenemos a los chicos de Finlandia tratando de atacar por la izquierda, por el lado cerrado. Y la verdad es que es un juego rápido. Estos son los campeones del año pasado. Esto es por la final. Esta es la semifinal para ir a la final de la Champions Cup. Así que esto va a ser un juego que donde no vas a tener tiempo ni de respirar ni de pensar. Eh, vamos a ver. Ok. Y uh, both teams are absolutely um, ready. Um, Rixu to defend their title and Orcas to finally win this uh, Champions Cup so they have to win one of them has to have to win this game and in the moment uh, Rixu is wow. having wow this is a fast counter attack look how fast they go through the through the pool and now on the other side in the corner Pero ten y tenemos el portero, oh, el portero casi se They va porque pensó from, uh, que era su compañero, casi, casi le sale a Camilo lo de robar, pero More bueno. Se, se, se me ocurre que han visto mucho and, los uh, videos. The orcas do their uh, busy swim thing around the offense and uh, they are oh, not oh, eh, oh, one, Camilo, both acaba de Camilo stole el the basket from Rixu. He tried just before and he didn't realize, so now is the moment and uh, this is something the basket he does is a lot. still in the uh, Colombian possession and uh, it looks oh, like uh, oh, 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 this is yeah, Samuel yeah, yeah. just pushing yeah, through yeah, with favor. totally physical game Bo ball is popping out of this uh, of this cluster ah, bueno. eh, han recuperado la, la canasta, and pero the next uh, sí, Orca uh, is trying to drill favor, into the defense of Rixu this is a dangerous situation for the Rixu defense but well resolved here the ball is on the surface or in the corner I don't see so many bubbles there but this was dangerous. I was the 66th uh, uh, team, uh, Timu. I mean, really, the first time he looked once and didn't go, and then the second time he didn't realize that yes. it was and just he left. So and uh, this is a counter attack from Rixu. The, 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 the camera favor, is frozen again. Dios. A ver, pero oh, we don't have, have a picture. El balón. Eh, estamos en el medio. A ver, y eh, esto va a estar duro, chicos. And uh, Rixu is coming in on the basket honing in on the basket of uh, the Colombians but their forechecking is preventing them from uh, really pushing into the basket and the attack we saw from Orcas right now was super dangerous nice interception here from an Orca defender who just went into the pass of the ball but he's now tackled by two Rixu players in the corner of the close side of the Orca uh, side of the pool and here we go counter attack we have uh, three Orca players, two Orca players going for the Rixu basket, but they stop in the corner to build up their attack. A ver, vamos a ver, los chicos de Orca están ahora tratando de empezar con el ataque dentro del área y viene con el balón, tenemos a la defensa puesta, acaban de pasar al medio y están tratando por venir por el otro lado, pero ya tenemos a uno de los medios tratando de quitar y recuperar el balón, casi lo recupera, pero tenemos a uno de los chicos de Orcas Sin embargo, los finlandeses están pasándose a la pelota, va cambiando de blanco a azul, azul a blanco. Um, y estamos todavía más cerca de la portería de los chicos de Finlandia. Y Orcas tiene el balón y viene en ataque. 
Pero esto va a ser duro. Los chicos de, de Finlandia, mmm, la verdad que están reaccionando bien. Si bien Camino les pudo robar la portería antes, no creo que ese sea un error que vuelvan a cometer. Así que bueno, vamos a ver cómo pueden generar el error en, en la defensa. We always uh, said uh, uh, and another attack from the Orcas, really physical attack into the defense of uh, the Finnish team. And now uh, from the open side over the goalkeeper. Oh, 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 oh that, was that was so close. Oh, that, that ball was outside. almost in the basket. Yeah, 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 Only half of it was under the ring, so it wasn't totally in the <laughs> ring. And was <laughs> not yet a goal. And uh, the goalkeeper could save it, pull it out again. That was pretty close. And Lorena, what do you say? We see a different Oka team than we saw last year. Their attacks are much more massive Precise. into, yes, yes, into yes, the, yes. the defense. And they, they, they don't seem to have any problems now to really drill and well, break open the defense and create yeah. a situation. There's two things different from the last year. Okay, well, no, that well. was also again almost in the basket. That's incredible. Two balls almost so under the ring and both saved. Very well yes. uh, done by the Riksu uh, defense. They're, they're not in the Finnish team breathe. There's two things that I want to just Call from throw. the referee, free throw against the Orcas. Y creo que los chicos de Finlandia están como contentos de tener un tiro libre a favor. I think the Riksu is the grateful to have a bit of a... Well, I'm not, I'm not so sure. They look pretty pretty calm, even though they are big on the pressure. And this no, was know, two times was very close. What, what I was saying about the difference of the Orcas is they, some of them, a lot of them put up uh, on a weight. weight. Yes. I mean, uh, they are heavier than in training and strength. Uh, and camera is uh, frozen camera again frozen on the right side. Aye, aye, aye. Please restart. And um, the second thing is that uh, they have been putting an emphasis in analyzing the biomechanic of the attack. So they got really much precise on how to do the attack. It's one uh, on one, and one on one is not a good thing for the goalie. I mean, they're really good, the Finnish guys, but the Dorcas are also a very good taking chances and attacking. They have shown how fast they can score. So, uh, defenders and goalies, they need to be on time, in position, otherwise it can be really dangerous, really fast. Vamos a ver, están atacando sobre la, el, el, el costado y están tratando de mover el balón. What I can see is it's not very easy for them to move the ball in front of the nose of the defender, like they have yes, done it with yes, the other yes, team. Yes, yes, yes. They have to be a little bit farther away. And they come a little bit more from the corner. And, and again, uh, Camilo, Camilo tried to steal the basket. <laughs> this, <laughs> is, this is really uh, a very physical, very fast game. And uh, the Orca succeeded until now to force Rixu to play their game. But here is a counter oh yeah, attack, and the camera froze again on the right side. So Rixu, as far as we yeah. see, we only have the center camera here, we don't have the right camera, but Rixu is playing in the middle, so it seems they didn't break through into the Colombian yeah, half. And again, they're out of the picture. We don't have a picture from the right side. Here comes Colombia, so we don't need a picture from the right side. Three, three Colombian three players coming in with a lot of speed three into three the defense, three. and they're already already digging in, but stopped by the forechecking of oh, Rixu. And this is a pass from the close side. Del portero, pero bueno, ese fue Samuel y no pudo hacer el, el gol. Samuel was uh, right there on the, on the head of the yes, goalie, but, but he, he couldn't score. He couldn't manage to, to lift him up and push him. This is a dangerous, strange situation for Rixu, <laughs> and uh, they had already uh, three <laughs> dangerous <laughs> attacks <laughs> on the basket, <laughs> with two <laughs> times <laughs> the, the <laughs> ball <laughs> almost <laughs> inside <laughs> the basket. A ver, vamos a ver, tenemos a la defensa y tenemos... Eh, uno de los colombianos contra tres, a mí los chicos de Finlandia son duros, eh, son muy buenos, juegan en la Euroliga muchos de ellos, así que y son pesados también, o sea, no son ningunos chiquititos. A ver, tenemos Amazing defense work here from ¡Gol! the first goal from Colombia from the Orcas against Rixu. I have to admit, it was uh, with all the pressure they put on the basket of Rixu, it was quite a, a question of time, and uh, oh. Rixu already managed to pull out uh, the ball, uh, which was halfway into the basket, um, which was halfway into the basket, wow. out of the basket again, and it's a 1-0 after uh, four and a half minutes here in the oh. game, Orcas uh, from Colombia in blue against uh, uh, Rixu in white from Finland. That was impressive. That was impressive. I mean, because Finland is doing an amazing job defending. They are great. They have been in position. So, 
how Colombia is attacking always on the um, how you call the border of the goalie. They are there yes, trying to yes. be in the middle between, in the little gap between the defender and the goalie. Um, Free throw well. for Colombia against Rixu. And um, now uh, they really have to get out of their half and uh, start to attack the Colombian uh, basket, which they did uh, uh, sometimes sometimes uh, in the in the first five minutes but they didn't succeed to put a lot of pressure on the Colombian basket now there's a, a free throw for the Finnish team from the middle of the pool and this gives them the chance to build oh. up their attack patterns yeah I, I have two spumps <laughs> too this is uh, amazing game yeah great Finnish defense here uh, very well done and a uh, great attack by the Orcas. Can we have the right camera? Is it working? Okay, the right camera is frozen. And I'm getting a heart attack here, not knowing what's happening on the right side. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got to say that I want to see how they are playing. <laughs> it's, it's really, it's, it's unbearable. And we're going back um, in the half of, uh, in the middle of the pool. Yeah, we got some energy from the party. Thank you, that fish. I need everything I can have. Dios mío, ¿quién lo metió? No pude ver. The, the Finnish is doing an amazing job. I mean, it's really impressive. And I believe they Call had from the one, referee. one sick player. I don't know if he's able, probably to, maybe he's not able to play. Call from the referee. Uh, free throw, free throw against Rixu. And here we go again. The camera on the right is uh, working again. Thanks us, uh, but we need the camera on the left now. Call from referee, repetition of this uh, free throw, holding without ball. And I'm, I'm close to a heart attack here. And here we go. Uh, Colombia is in attack mode again. And they just uh, play around uh, the Rixu defense, uh, offensive defense here that try to f uh, get in the way of the... Federico, the goal. Sorry, sorry. No. Uh, they go in the way... Uh, no, well, okay, up to you, Lorena. Okay, uh, back again, still uh, Colombia is in ball possession and uh, they are already uh, organized left and right around uh, the basket but uh, stopped by the forechecking of Rixu right in front of the basket. Second wave, attack wave comes in and already the Orca players have uh, one or two Rixu players uh, clinging to their arms, ripping free, uh, the Orca players ripping free call from the referee and uh, it's the referee uh, out of the water call. Can we have a picture out of the water? Two minutes and ten left. It's a free throw, I guess. Two minutes and four left. The uh, chief referee uh, out of the water uh, is saying it's a referee ball and he just uh, let it fly into, will fall into the pool. And uh, the Orcas are uh, organizing and now they come in, both sides again. Orca players waiting, second wave coming in, waiting. And they uh, swim in the corner, next Orca wave is preparing, coming down from the surface, ball carrier on the closed side. And the player is waiting for his teammates to organize around, uh, around the basket. And again, uh, over swimming uh, the goalkeeper and pass to the close side into the into the corner. And we don't have a good picture, but it looks like uh, the Colombians are holding on to the ball there, and that wor time is working for them. We have one minute left in the first half, and we have a Orca player coming in really fast, but the defender was lying there waiting. He couldn't break through. Ball is. Uh, all the time in Colombian possession and they do a good job swimming back and forth controlling the ball but uh, not giving uh, the forechecking uh, of uh, Rixu a chance to get in close to the bus to the ball so with this fast passing they prevent uh, 
losing the ball and they even go in with a lot of speed that was uh, close again the attack on the goalkeeper from above didn't succeed tried to throw the ball in but pushed it uh, on the close side and we have a cluster on the surface i guess goalkeeper from Rixu is still waiting down there and there again Camilo Diaz trying to steal the basket and trying to get into the exchange 30 seconds left in the first half so it looks like this first half belongs to the Colombians time is working f in their yeah, favor I mean the, the, the Finnish guys uh, yes that's it uh, and it's the end of the first half and uh, the Orcas are leading 1-0 in this first half. Lorena. It's amazing because um, they, they, they were, I mean, the, the Rixu team was able to leave uh, maybe the first half of the time they could leave a little bit, but then the, the last five minutes they were glued to their own basket. So um, it was an amazing. <laughs> Thank you. An amazing right. game, <laughs> a very <laughs> thrilling game. And. Uh, it's really Rixo, amazing. It, 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 the Colombians, the, the Colombians from uh, the Orcas from Colombia forced uh, their play on the uh, Finnish team, on the Rixu team, and uh, it was really difficult for Rixu to get out of the out of the half and establish their own game on the, the Colombian basket. And the, the, the speed with which the Colombians. Uh, um, swam and uh, passed back and forth between the Rixu team made it almost impossible for them to get a hold of the ball in the last 10 minutes I believe uh, last uh, five minutes I guess Colombian after the Orcas, goal the males have been coming since 10 years probably this is the 10th or the 11th year and they never won the Champions Cup so far true the women won once the first year they were here so I it's amazing to see how they've grown. At the beginning, I remember they really surprised us with their speed, but they, st they still were lacking the uh, how to uh, score really against the, the, the heavier and top uh, teams. And they but were not used to play against these European teams who are, uh, uh, have a lot of experience to play against each other. The Colombians are a little bit in their own bubble in Colombia, playing against Colombian teams. Uh, Colombia is the Medellin. Right, the people are asking where co where the Orca. Sorry, Orca is from Medellin, Colombia. Yeah. No, from where in Colombia? Yes. From Medellin, Medellin Colombia. Colombia. Sí, estamos hablando de que es increíble en 10 o 11 años. Creo que es el año. A ver, Lilo, ayúdame o Claudia. Creo que los chicos ese es el año número 10 que vienen o el año número 11. Y desde el principio que nos realmente nos sorprendieron con la velocidad del juego, pero sin embargo les faltaba la experiencia para poder hacer los goles entre, o sea, los equipos escandinavos y a los alemanes y los más grandotes entre los pesados. Y es increíble cómo han crecido en estos 10, 11 años. Y la verdad que estos, estos, estos eh, eh, finlandeses no son ningunos chiquitos, eh, y, y tienen mucha experiencia. Y bueno, la verdad es que no están pudiendo salir de la... De la, de la portería, están como pegados ahí y los primeros cinco minutos del juego sí estuvieron un poquito yendo y viniendo que no pudimos ver porque la cámara de mierda esa que no estaba mostrando la imagen pero después nos las pasamos en la portería de ellos def ellos defendiendo muy duro, muy bien Camilo pudo robar la portería un par de veces pero no pudo meter el gol así y finalmente pudieron atacar por el otro lado <risa> y eh, bueno realmente mover al portero con toda la fuerza y meter el gol ahí eh, año 9, ah, gracias. Urrao, aprende a contar. Trátense con amor. Desde el 2010. This is the ninth year they have been coming. The ninth year. But the, de uh, the development of, uh, of the Orca team is just amazing. The point on uh, which they are. Um, I, I guess last year we talked to Samuel and he was a little bit disappointed. Uh, I, I think they lost against Flipper last year. And he because was because they won against Boulder. Yeah. And they thought then, you know, they, they, were, they were in control and then... And he was, was, was a little bit disappointed and uh, the problem of the Orcas was the scoring uh, against these heavy players uh, like Flipper who just lay in defense and are, uh, uh, were, not able they were not able to move them. But this changed a lot. Uh, the we, we realized the Colombian players put on a lot of weight, muscles, uh, and they train you a lot. Train so of yeah. the mechanic of the attack. Yes, and I mean they, they are more precise. They go in with a lot of uh, knowledge of what they do here. 
faster. And we see this, their game changed. It's faster, it's uh, more physical in the second of the contact of the defense. If they contact have physical contact with the defense, they to go in with a lot of push. And uh, we don't have to talk about their counter attacks. Um, they go three, two or three players really, really, really fast through the basket, through the pool area. Yep. Okay, we're mm. waiting uh, for the Just second yeah, half. One thing, I mean, after this, this is, uh, remember, this is a semi-final, uh, Orcas against Riksu from Finland. Then we have the semi-finals between Bamberg from Germany and Flipper from Denmark. Then we have the women's semi-finals between the women from Germany, Duisburg against Amalgia, uh, the Danish girls. And here we go. And then Akaren against Castores. Th yeah, the game continue. started. Woo! Too much adrenaline. I'm so excited. Okay, uh... Middle of the, uh, of the pool, uh, the first skirmish here for the ball. Um, both, uh, we see a cluster on the bottom of the pool. Uh, these are the top teams. They don't fight clusters on the surface. They fight clusters uh, on the bottom of the pool. Ball is free in the hand of a Rixu player. And uh, he tries to swim in the corner, attacked by two Orca players. And it's, it's the, the speed on which they attack each other is... Uh, Unbelievable! I I yeah, you can almost. I think you cannot show this uh, uh, game to a player who is not uh, used to see underwater rugby. It's just too fast. And even for us, <laughs> uh, we we saw a lot of uh, underwater rugby games in the last in the last uh, 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 days and weeks. Yeah. But this is like a really high speed, and I'm I'm super excited. It's so much fun to see these games. These two high top level games playing against each other. And uh, with uh, the Colombian very agile play around the Rixu basket, and Rixu ag again, like in the first half, being pinned, being being like glued to the basket, and not able to to go really to to leave the basket more than in their own half before they are stopped by the four checkers of Colombia. Yeah, so far we have now 470 viewers, and I think this is the highest we have got yes. uh, in the last days. So every time we have main teams like from Colombia, from Finland, from Denmark, from Germany, we do have around 500, and when we get to final, it goes up and up to 700, 800. So, so call from the referee. Duro, se va mm, free se throw against uh, Colombia. Pero Colombia me pone un, como 100, 150 <laughs> espectadores más de la cuenta normalmente. And this is a chance now for Rixu to uh, get close to the Colombian basket. Um, in the in the regular game, without the free mm -hmm. throw, they really have difficulties to, to get in touch with mm -hmm. the basket. And uh, here, the Rixu player is uh, tackled to the surface above the Colombian basket. Vamos a ver, o sea, they really need to be careful because Rixu is very also experienced and dangerous. Yes, and there are uh, some of these players uh, play uh, with Beta in the Euroleague, so they are quite experienced to play tough. And was it a huh. call? No, no call for the referee, oh. just a little bit of hesitation. And they, wow. they pay Ray instantly uh, with Muy losing the ball and... Uh, this is the number 99. It's one of the junior players we saw last week at uh, Oberhausen at the World Championship for Juniors. Number 99. Uh, amazing ball control by the Colombians. Amazing fast play. And uh, they don't give Rixu any, any second to take a breath and to make a mistake uh, before they reach uh, the goal of the Finnish players. But it's amazing the, the, the defense of the Finnish team. I mean, that was... Uh, I don't know, I mean, let's see if Orcas can force the second mistake. I mean, these guys, they, they need to recover the ball and start b being able to really create some... Call uh, from the referee, attack to the head, free pressure. throw against Colombia. So far, I don't remember having seen a really dangerous attack from the Finnish team nope. on the basket. Maybe nope. one at the beginning, but so far, the Orcas recover the ball quite soon and start the counter-attack and put the Finnish team really in... Uh, under pressure. Come so on, are there any Finnish guys here? Uh, Jenny is there online. Are there any fin Finnish guys uh, in the live chat? Uh, <laughs> give us some fire here. Come on, fire up uh, the your voices in I the live chat I for your team. Es que tu hermanito no es como para no reconocerlo. Algunos de los chicos ya con el cuerpo, las aletas y la máscara. Ten minutes of the second half. What? Yeah, 10 minutes. Uh, and it's a free throw. And now we have the Finnish team from the corner. But one of the Orcas is pulling up the guy with the ball. It's two Orcas against one Finnish player. 
Let's see if they can recover the ball. So far, I haven't seen really a very uh, dangerous attack. Um, but Orcas need to be and stay focused because uh, one mistake, one goal. And uh, yes, uh, the Orcas are leading 1-0. But if you play against an uh, experienced and tough team like Rixu, you are not allowed to make one mistake or they will uh, equalize. And um, if there is no winner in this uh, game, there will be penalty shooting and it will be sudden death. Uh, so the first team uh, that uh, shoots and holds uh, wins. Come on, Finland. Jenny is there. Go, Finland. How many more? Finnish guys, fan club. Come on. Give all the energy for your team. These are amazing teams. We, we have almost only uh, uh, Spanish-speaking Colombians in the live chat. Are there any Finnish fans for Rixu? Come on, guys. <laughs> Fire up uh, some. Jebelin will score soon. Yeah, Jen. And another attack from uh, Colombia. It looks a little bit like Colombia is... Uh, 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 holding back a little bit, they don't have to, they have to control the ball, they have to play and uh, they can look for a chance but they don't have to exhaust themselves and uh, create a dangerous situation, just stay in the in the half of uh, Rixu, pass a uh, ball, fast ball passing, very nice back and forth uh, of these teams, these, these passes go almost instantly blind into the, uh, the open. Um, Tough, pl rough playing, and it's a free throw against Jay, Rixu. Uh, who is Yepinen? Uh, some of the Finnish uh, audience is giving some tips. That maybe one of the players can score of Finland. The thing is, I really learned to love the Finnish guys to the through the year as well. Yes, so me I'm, too. Having, I'm having a problem right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, the <laughs> Colombians are great friends of us, but uh, um, we know we we uh, learn to know the Finnish guys and the, they are really cool uh, guys and we, we, f we really, our hearts are with both teams here in this great underwater rugby game and here comes Colombia again oh, great, oh. I mean from number 7 Stopped. that was a great interception great of the pass and now they are trying to get out of their basket but Colombia they are like they don't accept it, they wow. don't allow I mean them even to go into half, even across the half uh, of, of the pool it's a free throw against Colombia. Contra Colombia and it's still only 1-0 and we have uh, more than 8 minutes left uh, here see th I mean everything is open 8-0 oh. it's one mistake one goal doesn't matter which team does it and uh, Rixo only needs one goal uh, to uh, get into the oh, penalty time and again, uh, Colombia is in ball possession. And again, uh, Colombia player tries to steal the basket away from uh, Rixu. And uh, here, Rixu gives the Colombians a really hard time going over into their uh, pool area. Very good for checking call from the referee. Let's see. Pushing Rixu. without ball. And it's a free throw against Colombia. Yeah, you know, some players uh, were complaining about tactic from the Orcas to steal the basket, you know, and uh, like uh, without the ball. So they were asking the referees to pay attention. Maybe Camilo was trying to do his trick again and they saw it. Well, uh, as long as there is no pushing, it's a regular timeout. Yeah, but. I guess <laughs> it's a timeout for uh, Rixu at that moment. Tiempo fuera para eh, los finlandeses. <laughs> y están bueno tratando de ver si se reorganizan un poquito y a ver si todavía tienen ocho minutos los chicos de Finlandia y la verdad es que Orcas tiene que mantener la presión tiene que mantener el juego tiene que mantenerse enfocado porque eh, un pequeñito error y les van a meter el gol eh, Oh, no tengo respiración. I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, uh, come on, guys. Uh, you cannot do this to us. This is amazing on the water rugby. And I would, would like to talk about uh, with the, the uh, players like uh, uh, Jim Holmbeck, uh, how he compares a game like this uh, to the EuroLeague games uh, we know of. Okay, oh. uh, the timeout... Uh, is ticking down some seconds left and we have a free throw against Colombia. Siete minutos. Oh, my blood pressure is a little bit too high at that moment right now. Rixo is getting position to execute free the free throw. throw. And, and here we go. Uh, Rixo is going in 
three, four players down on the bottom of the pool being ready. And Colombia has the ball again. I mean, they How cannot do they do get it? there. It's amazing. It's incredible, chicos, how they've recovered the ball. They've left the ball free. Really chicos, nice uh, uh, for checking Tienen from Rixo here. A ver, y Colombia recupera el balón, eso es... A ver qué pasó. ¿Están tocado? ¿No han pitado o no? Siguen. A ver, sorry, I thought there was a, a horn. Now there's two orcas fighting for the ball while well, not passing to the next one. It's amazing to have always two or three of Colombia it's and it's also it's the it's Finnish guys. Yes, you have the Finnish yes. they're playing with ten. Yes, we w there are so many players in the water here. It, it looks overcrowded because they don't seem to take a breath, take a go up and take a breath on the surface. And another dangerous situation here on the close end, oh, and another goal. Another goal from wow. the Wow, and that was very well wow, done. Uh, they were so attacking fast. from the close side, and there was a the player waiting on the... Uh, uh, they were attacking from the close side, and there was a player waiting on the open side, and uh, he got the pass like a, lo one of these blind passes in his hand, and there was no defender, and he had time to push hard against the goalkeeper and push him off. So it's a 2-0 lead now for the Orcas. And uh, we have a uh, little bit more than uh, five minutes, six minutes, less than six minutes left in the second half here. It will be Ay really Dios difficult now for Rix to, to catch up with the Orca game because now uh, the Orcas can really uh, use the time that is left, uh, the five and a half minutes, uh, to hold on to the ball y and wait. And the with all that they attacking from below, they have one below, but they are the guys of the Orcas. What happened? What happened? Something happened, the referee is pointing out to someone. And the goal is where is time penalty for Orcas. Oh. Aparentemente time out for the Orcas. Wow, chicos, tienen, tienen un jugador afuera. I didn't Dos see what could have been the cause. No, could we no have the, the, um, the camera on the surface, please? Can we have the camera on the surface? Thank you sir. Time out blue, o sea que los chicos han pedido el tiempo fuera, a ver si se reorganizan. Pueden ver quién es el que está, que es Ma eh, Manuel Celis, el que está sentado, no, no tiene el número 7. ¿Quién está sentado? Está justo detrás eh, de bueno, esta ropa que no se puede ver. Y no sabemos qué ha pasado, qué han hecho. Uh, Dios. Uf. This is uh, hard attacking. So time okay. penalty oh. against bueno, the Orcas. So for the next two minutes. That uh, be that, I mean, this is going to be um, hard. Uh, the Finnish guys are going to come like a. Yeah, they come I mean getting like hard. A, like, a like a sledgehammer. A tank, yeah, I mean, because this is, this is. Now they have to push. Yeah, it's now or never. A ver, chicos, vamos a ver. This is a uh, whoa! This is right. A thriller situation oh, yeah, here. Yeah, we yeah, have yeah. Uh, a little bit, uh, or five minutes, about five minutes left in the second half, and we have uh, Rixu going in uh, on uh, the free throw against five all cup players for five for yeah. three two minutes. Oh, sorry. Blah, 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 blah. And uh, the, the oh, Orcas uh, managed to go for a counter-attack, two, two Orca players going in, and it's the same combination, one going in on the close side and the yeah. other waiting on the open side, but uh, very well intercepted by the Rixu defense, and still the ball wow. is in the Están Colombian possession. They're attacking with five. Están atacando con cinco, por favor, que partidazo, <laughs> Dios mío. Eh, y los es, están haciendo presión con cinco jugadores. I mean, they're, they're putting a pressure and, and oh. I'm surprised every time they got they had. I mean, the Finnish guy had quite a few free throws, and every time they lost and they were then defending in a counter attack, yes, yes. they could never really take advantage yes. of the ball. It's a uh, the Increíble. speed with which the Colombians intercept is incredible. Another free throw against uh, the Colombians. We have uh, three minutes 45 left here in the second half. Orcas in blue and uh, Rixu and white. Tres minutos y treinta. La segunda, el segundo, la segunda mitad. Oh, this is hard attackerish. Dios. And again, uh, Colombians intercepted wow. uh, the free throw Increíble game of, uh, of the finish. And we have again two. Colombian players going in on the basket and again the pass from the close side to the open side and the ball receiver on the, on the open side is lifted in the tackle to the surface. 
I guess the Finnish team is getting desperate. You can see in the body language, you know, that they're desperate. They can get a grab of the ball and do something. I mean, really, they're completely out of time. It's, it's like you play against tw against 20 octopuses here in the water for the Riksul because there is a Colombian player everywhere. And there are five only now, so it's uh, probably two minutes are over. Yes, probably. I guess the two minutes are over. So yes, uh, yes, yes, Colombia is back here, again no, uh, with six, six players in the water. Tratando de agarrar el balón y poder llevarlo cerca de la portería, pero la verdad que Colombia está haciendo un, un, un uh, increíble cómo recupera el balón después de cada tiro libre. No han yo no he podido ver que se han organizado realmente un ataque peligroso contra Colombia después del tiro libre, sino que perdían el balón en la primera estación. Ahora están todos ahí eh, peleando por el balón. Tenemos tres contra dos. Y a ver quién recupera, o sea, les quedan dos minutos y están desesperados estos chicos de Finlandia. Tienen que hacer dos goles y le está poniendo cada vez más difícil. There's a cluster on the surface, uh, there was a cluster, long cluster on the surface and uh, the time is working for the Colombians now and uh, just for you to know, uh, the Colombians are playing here against the uh, ruling champion of the Champions Cup. Uh, Riksu did win the Champions Cup last year, 2017. Ay, ay, ay. Heavy attack uh, from Riksu on the basket, wow. but again uh, the ball was taken away by a Colombian player and this is a heavy counter attack from uh, the open side and uh, the uh, Colombian uh, captain uh, somewhere looked quite angry when he got the ball from, oh, that was again pretty it's close. It's amazing how the Finnish managed to be back really fast. And yes, and to be ready to uh, uh, to defend. It's an amazing game. Riksu is playing here, but like I said, uh, uh, the, I mean the, the Colombians look a little bit say. like 20 octopuses uh, all around uh, in the in the pool. Dios they mio. don't give any space to the Riksu player. Now another attack from Riksu into it's the basket area. That's a nice attack now yeah. from the open side. This could be a chance for them at least to score uh, once against uh, the two leading uh, Orcas with two goals. And the time is ticking less than a minute a ver, now. Eso está and another attack. Lo al chico de Finlandia arriba y va a hacer el pase From para abajo del otro lado, el número 6 que está tratando and de now generar Rixo el rock, goes eh, in really heavy and again the uh, Colombian player pops out of this wow. uh, está tratando de pasar pero falta el falta wow. el contraataque. ¿Dónde está? How ¿Dónde está? Llegaron tarde. Drill themselves themselves through two Rixo players is just amazing. And now uh, we are again in the half of uh, Riksu and the time is ticking. I guess we have less than half a minute left. Dios mío, los están aplastando contra la pared. Esto es como oh. una locomotora, es like a train. This mm. is, yeah, 17 seconds, 15. 15 uh, Esto se lo lleva a Orcas. Wow, Dios this mío. is an amazing Orcas game está. by the Orcas. Orcas está en la final, o sea, and, quedan 8 uh, segundos, pero aquí no es por nada de vuelta de reloj. Riksu. But uh, I have to admit, uh, the Orcas uh, have been the better team yes. here in the water. They dominated uh, this game, and this is it. Wow, Dios mío, increíble, qué partidazo, por Dios. Eh, increíble de los dos, uh, both teams, and amazing Lorena, job. What do you Rizu. say for, for, for to, to commentate throughout the Champions Cup and um, to see these moments, these games, is it just like uh, um, a reward for all the work we put into the Champions Cup and to be able to be to participate yeah. in the in games like this is just a, a great reward and I'm a little bit speechless now and this is why like we <laughs> give uh, the microphone <laughs> over to the next yeah. team Bamberg against Flippers is going to be a nerve-breaking game coming up but we're going to yeah. give it to Torsen it will, it will be and maybe uh, if Darrell is around and he wants to comment on Flipper maybe that's a good idea I'm and getting to uh, a close heart attack, so I give the microphone the uh, to Tossen. Tossen, uh, I can uh, just wish you good <laughs> luck for uh, your blood pressure for the upcoming game uh, from Bamberg against Flipper. So talk to you later, guys. Thanks for listening. Thanks for being part yeah. here of the Champions Cup on the Water Rugby family. Hi guys, so now we're here jumping in into the match. The next semi-final here, we have seen an awesome game between Arkers and the team Rixo from Finland. And now we're jumping in into the second half at the second semi-final, which will be Bomberg in blue against the Danish team from Flipper. And we will switch a bit between English and German. Also, auch hier nochmal an die deutschen Zuschauer. Wir sind hier im Halbfinale, dem zweiten Halbfinale. Es geht darum, 
welche Mannschaft gegen die Orcas aus Kolumbien im Finale morgen spielt. Es treten an in Blau der zwölffache deutsche Meister Bamberg gegen den dänischen Meister Flipper aus Kopenhagen. Um, like to introduce you the, um, the, the referees for the match. So we're going to see um, at the tech referee, Jane, Jane. It will be Kaisa from Sweden Underwater and Kai from uh, is it Norway probably um, Underwater too. So we have Kai and Kaisa Underwater. Oh, it's also here. Too. It's awesome. So we see. Oh. Just the yeah, Kai from Norway, you know. So Kai from Norway and uh, Kaiser from Sweden. And uh, yeah, let's. So we're playing here two times, 15 minutes. We've changed the time um, uh, re to yesterday. So yesterday we just played two times, 10 minutes here. The two top teams so far, both Flipper and um, Bamberg, won all their matches. We have some. Um, some data maybe we can bit try to compare them. For example, if we take the games against a Turkish team into account. Thorsten, your voice is so amazing, awesome. sexy. It's awesome. <laughs> I like. I can't hear you. Could you please <laughs> talk the whole night for me? So yesterday we have seen. Okay, no, no. So yesterday we have seen Bamberg playing against the Turkish team. It was a 5-1, and we have seen Flipper playing against the Turkish team today in the quarterfinal. What was at least? Uh, let me check that. No, when, when do you have seen? Have they not played each other? It was a mistake. Who? Bamberg and uh, no, Flipper. Flipper played against. Only Flipper played against Malmö. Yeah. Oh no, so Flipper uh, played uh, against uh, Malmö Triton. Ah, so it is. Ah, oh, okay. I tried to make there maybe a like kind of a relation between both two to have your prediction who probably well is going to no win here. No. But I remember that both teams have met um, in the past. It was not last year, but the year before. It was also quite close game. We remember there was a penalty shooting. Um, it was won by Bamberg, who made it then to the uh, towards the the final. I I, s I guess it was. I think as far as my But I don't think uh, Bamberg does not like the game the style of uh, uh, Flipper digging in and waiting and then counter through. It is just not the the fast game uh, Bamberg prefers to play with the four checking because Bamberg is waiting and then takes its chance. No, but I think this is I think for for Bamberg this is for example if you would ask Bamberg who they want to play against, yes. I think they would say okay Flipper would be great. Uh, opponent because they're very physically they're focused in the basket and the game is of course you have this counter attack but the part of the counter attack is not very fast so it's very like not as physical. fast as Bamberg, yes you can come physically into the basket you know yeah like as we have seen more how Bamberg is playing you have their goalkeeper uh, staying at the basket so they want to try to grab the goalkeeper they try to grab the defender and it's it's much more easier for them to to get into the situation when it's not so how do you say fast if it's not so yes. um, I think confusing yeah, like yeah, this yeah, works yeah, yeah, the Colombian yeah. style. Bamberg is probably the, the faster player uh, team here yep. in the, in this uh, thing. So you you say um, it's easier for Bamberg to control the game here against, I, uh, like I think against a team like Flipper? It's probably easier for them here um, to have uh, to get the to get the ball possession, to start their their tactics, to have their game plays because Bamberg for example they're bringing one guy with the ball inside trying to make some cows and then there's another one trying to receive the ball and to score and you know if it, there's a lot of action around the basket like you have fast fast changes and chaos, a lot of like checking, you create chaos very aggressive for checking you cannot come close to the basket so as flippers really defending massively at the basket they will probably have more actions at the basket i assume but flipper is very very good in defending the question will be can they be able to score? And on the other hand, we now Flipper. It's a team playing very, very close to the bottom. We've seen this a couple of times. The team attacks where two players are playing together, touching with the entire body the floor of the of the pool. And then they're trying to bring the ball once around the, uh, the basket to score, to bring a, a team player in a very good position then to score. So we have a bit two different styles playing here right now but both physically and not that fast like we have seen it for example in the Colombian match yes. before and uh, I think uh, on the on the level we saw Bamberg playing today and uh, the last days uh, it, it's it will be an amazing game 
What are you looking for, Thorsten? Uh, team list numbers. Team list numbers, ah. Ah, it's over there. <laughs> here we are. So uh, let's check this. So we have two teams here. The referee introduced you already to the referees. Um, as soon as we recognize any player, you can check the, the team list on our homepage, uwr24.de. There you'll be before to the Champions Cup homepage. Here you can find uh, the team lists. Just click on team list, you find all the teams. So if you're recognizing a number, you can see if it's your if it's your yeah supported player there in the water. We see the Danish champion flipper in white. We see the German champion in blue, flipper against Bamberg. 